So, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I do not have a brow routine. I just fill my brows in and, you know, do what I do. I really don't have a certain thing I do. I just want my brows to be darker. So, that's why I just fill them in and conceal them. So I recently purchased the Too Faced Hangover Primer and the Makeup Forever Step 1 Mattifying Primer. I use the Too Faced Primer because I have dry skin and I use the Makeup Forever one because my pores are very large around my nose area and I would like that area to be more matte. Today I will be using the Box of Crayons palette by Super and my Juvia's Place palette. So I'm going to take that brown out of Super's palette and put it in my um, crease area as a transition color. I'm going to continuously add this so it can darken it up a little bit because I'm going for a more dark crease look, if you get what I'm saying. And I'm also going to be using the Shimmer Purple from her palette. And I'll show you the purple that I'm going to be using out of the Juvia's Place palette as well. So this is going to be like a more purpley, shimmery look. Thank you. 
So this is going to be my attempt at a half cut crease. I don't know how to do a cut crease that well, mainly because my eyelid is very wrinkly, but I try my best and it comes out, it comes out good anyway. So I'm going to grab that Maybelline concealer and put it on my lid and then look up. And then I'm going to try to outline my lid the best way I can. I try not to put a lot of concealer on there because it takes too long to dry so right now I'm really just trying to follow the, the outline of my lid. For my foundation, I will be using Anastasia's Beverly Hills Foundation Stick. I really enjoy this foundation stick because it's not as drying as more. It's for dry skin. So I'm going to also use my Dior foundation in in six, I believe, and mix those two together to get a great shade, especially for the winter time. The foundation stick was supposed to be my contour color, but I feel like mixing it in with the Dior gives me a better foundation color period so I'm just gonna get my beauty bender and I'm just gonna tap that into my skin until um, I get the coverage I desire Thank you. 
color I'm using is by Makeup Revolution. I did not like it that much because it wasn't my shade. So I'm going to go back to the store and get my shade. But I chose to mix that concealer in with a LA Girl Pro Concealer I had on hand. And now I'm using the Makeup Revolution Banana Powder to set my face. And I'm just going to put that all around the areas that, you know, crease up the most. Or micro smooth powder by the way they discontinued this inside the store and I'm just gonna bring some color back to my face and dust away all that setting powder I put on before Queen's Collection bronzer and I'm just going to contour my face with this. I have it in the shade Ebony. They do have it in the color brown and it's a real nice bronzer. Very affordable. Only cost me about $6. Take a brown lip pencil I got from the beauty supply store. You can use any brown lip eye pencil you want. And I'm just going to outline my lips. And then I'm going to use one of the old matte lipsticks from ColourPop. I do not know the name of this purple, but it's from ColourPop. It should still be on their site, but it's a real dark purple. So after that, to lighten up my lips a little bit, I'm going to take a NYX lip cream and add it in the middle to just give it a more lighter purple to um, be a base for the shimmer I'm about to apply to my lips from the Super Box of Crayons palette. Thank <laughs> you. 